Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, I hit 15K. I hit 15,000 subscribers. Wow, thank you. My goal has been to catch Maddie, <laughs> and I did. Um, so I'm right behind him. I hit 15,000 subscribers yesterday. Thank you so much. So many of you have been with me uh, for the last two and a half years since I started uh, YouTubing about van life. So thank you, thank you, thank you. My gratitude is abundant for those of you who watch and consistently watch and comment and engage with me. You mean so much to me. Of course, with 15,000 subscribers comes a lot of trolls, especially lately. You know, some people have a problem with everything I do, just like my existence bothers people sometimes. But, you know, those are the ones that are living in their mom's basement, so it's no big deal. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous day here in Buckeye, Arizona, and uh, I think it's like 67 and sunny. It's been perfect. We've been spending a lot of time outside today. Um, getting my power stations charged up with my solar and just enjoying all the birds and the little desert creatures that are running around. It's been wonderful. Tomorrow we will go into town to my home base to shower and get some water, stop at Walmart, and then we'll be back to camping. So this video will be oh, there's a bug, some you know, footage of camp, what we're up to and all that good stuff. Also, be sure to turn on your notifications, and if you're not seeing my videos for some reason, always go to my channel, to the videos tab, because somebody literally was complaining yesterday, like, Amanda, I've been subscribed to you for two months, and I haven't seen any content from you. Y'all, I upload daily, so if you're not seeing content from me, either your notifications aren't on or you need to go to my channel and seek it out because I am uploading every single day. So be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and welcome, and let's jump right in. You're cute. All right, y'all, so here's where we're at with everything this morning. I just put out my Van Powers Solar. I didn't put it out yesterday because... I've gotten a little bit obsessive about putting my solar out so I can get like everything to 100%, but my Van Powers power station is so big that I just don't need to do that. So I left it put up yesterday. I put it out this morning, and then I will be putting out my Yargo solar panel with my Jackery. I have my cleaning products out because I was just cleaning my toilet and dusting everything. Next on the agenda is to make my bed it's not supposed to get super cold tonight only like down to 50 degrees or something so i probably won't need my down blankets but maddie is tinkering so me and uh, kiddo are just kind of doing the same every single day when we are camping i give winston at least one or two bones and he loves digging and burying his bones and he will dig and bury the same bone throughout the day he loves this activity and it's so important if you are traveling with dogs to just let your dog be a dog and do dog things. Even if they're getting dirty, it's very important for their confidence and their mental stimulation. I love watching Winston work. Winston always knows when Maddie is eating lunch. He can smell it, he can hear it, so he goes and hangs out with Maddie. But in the meantime, today I shaved my legs, I got my Yargo Power Solar up and running to charge my Jackery and my Rock Pals, and I am just hanging out while I let everything get charged up, and Winston <laughs> hangs out over at Maddie's van. My van is looking nice in the meantime, ever since I made my bed and got it all organized. Very happy with it. using my Bluetooth speaker today. Everything's looking good. Look at how good Maddie is to me, y'all. He's cleaning my windshield. Y'all, find yourselves a travel companion that cleans your windshield and your windows. I mean, look at him go. He carries that squeegee with him. Actually, it, it motivated me. I need to purchase a squeegee. Turns out they're cheaper at Walmart than Amazon. But in the meantime, I'm just going to let Maddie clean my windows because <laughs> he's 
He's amazing. It gives him something to do, let's be honest. We've had some rain recently, so these orange wildflowers have popped up and are blooming, and the California poppies are blooming more as well. They're looking so pretty and vibrant. It really adds a splash of color to our beautiful Arizona desert. Well, <laughs> this is what we're up to this afternoon. Maddie and I popped a beer and it is beautiful out. He's gotten a lot of tinkering done. I have cleaned and organized. The van is looking great inside and out. I mean, Maddie did clean my windows, so. I always like to get into my van in the evening after it's been cleaned and Winston has loved the weather today. He's relaxing in his playpen after digging and exploring. He is one happy boy. There are these little fluffy desert prairie dog looking things running around. They are so cute, honestly. I don't know what they are. I actually tried to Google it to see what type of wildlife is in this area but I can't find the name of this specific animal. However, they are so cute and they keep running around <laughs> and Winston ended up spotting them. So Maddie wanted to walk over and help Winston discover these little animals. They actually burrow in the ground, kind of like a prairie dog would. Winston did lay eyes on them and it's funny because I often joke that he has lineage of a pointer breed because he will lift up his front leg and point at whatever he's seeing. It was so cute to see the boys adventuring and looking at the little critters. We are in the van for the evening and Winston is very busy cleaning his toes. <laughs> he's had a busy day of exploring and digging and hiding his bones and chasing after desert creatures. Busy, busy day. Uh, somebody arrived on the hill right outside our campground, decided to park right there, so that's kind of weird, but it's what's happening. So, that's okay. After Winston finishes cleaning his toes, we are going to watch some shows. Wow, I could be a poet. <laughs> nice and warm in the van because it was toasty today in the sun and it won't be too cold tonight so we should get an awesome night's sleep he's passed out y'all look at him look at his little face look at him he's so done he is so done <laughs> That is one happy boy. Sun is going down. It's just about 5.30, so we have another 45 minutes or so of sun, but we've been so busy and productive today that we are ready to relax. So here's what we have coming up, y'all. So I have my get out gear comparison to do for you guys. So I've been using the down puffy blanket for a while now, but I also got the double puffy blanket, which is the synthetic version. So I'm going to be sharing with you the comparison um, and what I think about each version of the blanket from Get Out Gear. I also have my Yargo Power solar panel review coming up as well. So both of those things will probably be within the next week. Now, I'm not really sure what our plans are after Buckeye. We are chasing the weather, of course. I'd still really like to get up to Lake Havasu, but it's like the forecast was rainy for the next couple of days. Um, I also want to get back down to Tucson as well. So again, chasing the weather these next two months um, should be beautiful. But since we've had an abnormally cold winter, it's really day by day and week by week. So 
Thank you again for 15,000 subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you for taking the time to watch my videos and hang in there with me. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and I have a lot more coming for you guys. So thank you again so much, and I will see you next time.